because I don't want you people to know exactly what's under my hood because then it'll be like Vin Diesel time where I have to go knocking on doors and pulling out people and asking them, you looked under my hood! Okay, my name is Ikram. I own a company called Moto Venture. I do desert tours for people. I have dirt bikes, quads and buggies. I'm a very passionate motorhead. Got love for a lot of vehicles, anything with a motor in it. I have motorcycles, which I love the most. Then comes cars, which I also love a lot. So different vehicles on different days is what I do. I came to UAE 14 years ago. Uh, in February and the second day I ended up in the desert of Dubai and then I rented uh, a bunchy because dirt bikes weren't available back then to rent and then fell in love with the country and I was like okay this is the place I want to be this is awesome you know all the cars all the bikes everything is here so let's just make this home so that's that's what it is and that's where I am now 14 years into this country absolutely love it love what I do love the great people I meet life is good alhamdulillah Oh, my first car would be a really interesting car because I've been riding, driving for a very, very long time now, multiple decades. So my first car happens to be when I was seven years old. It, it was a Massey Ferguson tractor. So I used to drive it in my family's fields and uh, yeah, four wheels were pretty good. Really torquey motor pop wheelies with it, but I didn't have any experience, so I didn't do that kind of stuff. I was just happy to put around the fields. Um, and then over the years, I've had a lot of different cars. So learned to drive in a Jeep on the way to my farms with my dad. So my dad always had multiple cars and uh, different cars on different days. So it was, it was just when I would get lucky with what car, because depending on whenever we would head out to the fields, because the city is really congested. I come from us small town called Mysore in uh, Karnataka in India and so different cars I would just be looking forward for the trip and then uh, if I would say I first started driving when I was in uh, university and then uh, driving I had a Lada a Fiat Lada Fiat with a Daihatsu turbocharged engine in it so absolute shit box just like what a tuner needs and then I would I would have street races with brand new cars petrol mine was a diesel car but a turbo diesel so that had an edge and that was faster than any other cars so I remember driving it really late at night one day going to the airport to pick up my mom so drifted through a very big intersection and blew the rear left tire <laughs> and spent the next one hour changing the wheel on the car <laughs> so yeah then coming back to the well, most of my life, I've never had cars in my life because motorcycles played such a big part. And then it will always be bikes and bikes and bikes, just, just that. And I was happy with my bike life. But coming to the UAE, I had to get a car for myself. So I had different cars. My company gave me a car to drive. That was good. Then eventually I needed one car of my own. So I would go ahead and pick the best car, the most lovable car in the UAE, which is obviously, as most of you know, either a Nissan Sunny or a Toyota Corolla. So I picked the Nissan Sunny, put a tow bar onto it so that I can pull the bike. So at that time, my requirements were very simple for the cars. So I just needed a top, I needed air conditioning, and I needed it to pull bikes. So these were the only requirements. So I walk into Toyota showroom and I ask the guy, how much is the Yaris and how much is the FJ Cruiser? So the salesman is like, uh, sir, what exactly are you looking for because that's two extremes i'm like man i need i just need the information so that i can decide what's best for me just give me the information he's like okay this 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 i'm like okay great off to the used car lot by myself on nissan sunny <laughs> okay so that's all the car needs to do for me then um, yeah so bikes were still going with bikes i had three bikes i bought three bikes first i had a suzuki gsxr for the streets then i had a honda crf for the dirt uh, for the desert then I had a beta rev 3 for the rocks okay I was like great I got three bikes one for tarmac one for desert and one for the rocks everything is good then what does Ikram do in 2014 I have 14 motorcycles <laughs> so there was a point of time where I had to put uh, 
my bikes, some of them in the living room and even some in the bedroom because I didn't have a warehouse back then. Then I happened to get lucky where I started a business where I put the bikes into the warehouse and I had a car workshop, but come bike workshop and this and that. Then I started Moto Venture, uh, which is Dirt Bike Tours company. And uh, that's how I went forward. But meanwhile, what happened was one day I came across a really good deal. So I'm like, I want a car which is an everyday driver, fun car, and uh, it needs to be powerful, obviously. It needs to be good looking, all of that, and it needs to go in the desert. So I'm like, okay, I have only two choices now, either uh, an Evo or a WRX. The choice was very simple. I started doing more research and then uh, found out that the WRX was more off-road than the Evo would be. So I'm like, okay, great, let's get a WRX whenever that happens in in my life right so i came across a good deal on dubizzle checking dubizzle every morning in my corporate life i'm like okay great there's a normal subaru impreza for sale for very cheap i'm like do i really need another car in my life oh hell yeah let's go get it so i go out i buy that car and i come back home so two cars are par parked next to each other and i'm like Awesome, great, that's awesome. Let's let's wait till my woman comes back and I'm gonna show, show it to her. So she comes back, so I'm like, honey, look, outside. That car is amazing, right? It's like, yeah, just like you wanted. You know, it's, it's so awesome and this and that. I'm like, here are the keys, that's my new car. She's like, what, that's your new car? How come you didn't ask me for suggestion? I'm like, look, it's my money, okay? It's my wish, it's my car. So what I do with my money, is up to me not up to you okay let's make that clear she's like okay this and that and this and that uh and i was really happy with my purchase and everything so one year later i started modifying the car now what i want out of the car is completely different to what it was supposed to do so i wanted a car which goes in the desert okay great so let's start modifying it get the get the new smaller wheels with higher profile tires get a lift kit get an engine uh get all the aftermarket stuff done the stuff that i don't want to talk about here because i don't want you people to know exactly what's under my hood because then it'll be like vin diesel time where i have to go knocking on doors and pulling out people and asking them you looked under my hood <laughs> so let's not get to that point that's how my subaru became the dune baru okay it's a car it goes deep in the desert it is from dubai so that's why you have the dew and it goes on the dunes that's why you have the dune and it's a subaru so dune baru that's how it came it's probably still only one of its kind nobody else is doing it although i would love to have some company but every year i try to get more people to do it but nobody does it so yeah so far that's what it is yeah it's always going to be the dune baru because that's what it is it's a it's a car capable of doing deserts it's gone to pretty much any difficult spot in the desert that you might think about uh, successfully places where not even jeeps go lifted jeeps or fjs or whatever whatever desert car doesn't go wherever my car's already been there uh, not bragging about it but that's a fact uh, when it comes to car community in the uae uh, talking about five six seven years ago there was not much happening and then uh, people were always passionate and trying to do stuff and like some really really passionate people driving really nice cars they take took care of the cars really well so uh, JDM UAE is uh, where I started off from because you know I had the JDM car which is really well respected and uh, people love the Subarus and that's how I started off but now we have thankfully the scene has gotten a lot bigger and we have a lot of uh, different communities doing different drives meetups and all of those things so yeah it's it's compared to what it used to be to what it is now it's great and hopefully the hopefully it keeps getting better and better and obviously having petrol and, and being on this platform is also is also an amazing thing because what rashid is doing here we're taking all of our mo all of us motorheads and putting them on video and putting us out there on his YouTube channel. I think it's a very good contribution to the car community. So coming for, from a very corporate background and uh, uh, from shipping, aviation and logistics, other jobs that I used to do at that point of time, I always had something to do with my motorcycles. So once I would finish my corporate job timings, I would go on and do something with the motorcycle, be it building it, 
riding them or helping friends out do stuff on them or you know just going for rides or whatever so it got to the point where i had to decide how many hours i would sleep at night to continue to do what i'm doing so when i when i hit sort of a dead end in my corporate job and uh, things were just getting worse and worse every day and i was i was just hating myself for sitting in that cubicle doing work and you know just because what used to happen was every winter I would look forward to the season and every winter is when I would end up working a lot more. So that would leave me with lesser timings to do what I want to do. And my love is for motors, okay? My love is for cars and motorcycles and stuff like that. And then with a corporate job, obviously, uh, comes a lot of other responsibilities where no, no matter how much you put in, you're not going to get what you want. So. It came to the point and then one, one evening I came back home and I was really stressed out and I'm like, bro, yo, look, listen, if, if there's anything that needs to go out of your life right now, that needs to be your corporate job. So I went to my office the next day, I resigned and then, uh, yeah, and then after that I started my bike life full time and that's how Moto Venture started. Now I have two companies, one does dirt bike. The other one does quads, buggies, everything. So, alhamdulillah, everything is great. People love what I do, and I take real pride in what I do because this is not this is not a job, you know. At the end of the day, this is an extension to my lifestyle. So, you want to do, you want to do fun stuff. You want to live, live for a little bit in your life. You come see me. I'm the Sandman. Okay, we give you a guaranteed great time in the sand dunes of Dubai. <laughs>